Hi guys, Mike back again with um, uh, an unboxing of sorts, but just a real look through of what I've been up to the last um, few weeks since I made a video last. Now clearly I'm not buying anything that I can paint because I have to paint what I've got and not buy what I want. But that doesn't exclude me from buying board games, which I think I said in the original brief of that video. Um, I, I'm back in a few things on Kickstarter at the moment, so I've got... Um, one come in before Christmas, I think, and one come in this time next year. That's just finished. And I'd late backed, as I was looking on Kickstarter, as you can, you can go back on Kickstarter and look at things that have been successfully funded um, and see what you missed, you know, that kind of thing. And I went on and saw um, a game from um, Modifius Entertainment and they've bought out Thunderbirds. <laughs> Thunderbirds is a cooperative board game. This has been bought out because it's uh, Thunderbirds is celebrating the 50th year. Now, those of you in the UK will be familiar with Thunderbirds, I'm sure. Um, it was a Super Mario Nation um, TV series in the 60s, created by Jerry Anderson, who um, these, these family, the Tracy family, wealthy family, had all of these um, vehicles, these crafts, space station, spaceship, transporters etc um, to, to basically fly around the world and help people in distress um, and prevent disasters basically and that's the crack of this game basically you need to fly around the world preventing disasters and the Thunderbirds arch nemesis was called the Hood and uh, you have to stop him um, bringing his evil scheme to fruition basically it's really really good um, it's designed by Matt Leacock those of you in the board game world will know that Matt Leacock designed um, Pandemic, which is a fantastic um, gateway game almost, you know, getting people into, I mean, my, my wife will play Pandemic, um, you know, we, we quite like a game of Pandemic, and Forbidden Island, Forbidden Desert, and again, my seven-year-old daughter loves Forbidden Island, um, you know, she, she's really good at it now. So, you know, I mean, he's designed more games than that, but they're the ones that are that are relatively well-known and, and popular. So, Thunderbirds, the board game. Um, I said this was kind of an unboxing. It is kind of, but not really. Um, I've, I have received this a week ago. Um, actually, I ordered it on the... I was a late backer. Um, like I said, I was a late backer. I ordered it on the 20th of October. Received it on the 29th of October. Um, and I've been playing it. <laughs> so... But I um, didn't do an unboxing when I got it. So I'll just show you what you get, basically. You can get this in the sh in shops now. It's about 40 quid. Um, if you buy it in a shop with your sort of 10% regular discount you get in things like Wayland or Firestorm or whatever. But anyway, so there we go. Um, so basically, you get your, your rule book. Um, again, one of these games that's really quite simple rules. There's not many rules. Um... But, but quite difficult to master, I suppose. It's uh, it's it's learning. You know, the, the rules are not difficult to learn, but it's um, um, a challenging game nonetheless. Trying to avert all these disasters. So we go to get the rule book. You get. I don't know if this comes in the regular box game, but you get a bit of artwork there. That's the game box top. You could choose on the Kickstarter what um, what game lid you wanted. And uh, I went for that one. But actually, now I'm thinking about it, I wish I'd gone for that one. But there we go. That's quite cool. Anyway, yeah, so you get a bit of artwork there. Um, then you get the game board, which um, which is it's not very big, to be fair. It's a really nice quality game board. Um, let's move this camera a little bit. Um, yeah, pretty pretty decent size. You know, not not massively large but big enough that you know you can get all your your game pieces on the game takes place across the the world and then you can go into space thunderbird 5 which is a space station um stays in geostationary orbit and then you can fly out to the moon mars and the asteroid belt or the other way to venus mercury and the sun so you know it's um and there's missions on the sun so that's quite cool so yeah really nice quality game board really yeah, sturdy, good quality. So I'm, I'm, I'm liking that a lot. Um, it's all set out really nicely. You've got little spaces for all the cards you need to lay out. And on the bottom here, spaces for the cards you need to lay out. Um, it's got places on the board for all the decks of cards. 
um, and the tokens as well. So, you know, winner really, you can't go wrong. It's really nicely done. Then, I mean, like I said, I've played this um, game already. And so basically I'm just bagging stuff up at the moment because um, there's a load of expansions to come as part of the Kickstarter. Um, I think there's four expansions, so I'm not going to bother making a storage solution yet until I get all of the um, the, the um, expansions, like I say, four expansions. So I'll see what they look like when they come and then make an insert um, that will um, appropriate my needs. So here we go, back of the box. It's a great, great game. One to four players. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of solo games. But anyway, so that's that. So what do you get? You get... Um, I've just separated all these. You get a load of bags, <laughs> get a load of bags that you can put all your cards and stuff in, which I'm making use of. Um, so we've got those. You get um, FAB cards, which are, are reward cards, basically. I'll just show you two of them through these bags. You um, you get FAB cards for defeating hood schemes. So like this one, you can add plus three to your die roll for any C rescue, for example. Um, so that, that they give you benefits. Then we've got our character cards, which I'll show you. So we've got our um, reference cards. You get reference cards so you can, uh, you know what to do <laughs> on your turn. And it just lets you know what the bonus tokens mean, which I'll tell you about in a second. And then you've got a, a card here telling you how to set up the different levels of difficulty. Now the, these cards basically go across the top of the game board. So in these spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. So you're going to have different events and then these Roman numerals denote the hood schemes and you have to defeat the scheme before the hood gets to the place on the board, before he moves up the board. Otherwise you lose. So you get your international rescue agent identification card. Um, I haven't filled it in or put it in my wallet yet, but you know. That may happen one day, who knows? And then you can choose to be um, one of the five Tracy brothers. There's Gordon, John, Alan, Virgil and Scott. Or Lady Penelope, of course. They're the first six characters you get in the base game. And I understand that Brains is coming in, the, in an expansion. And um, Tintin, I believe, is coming in an expansion. And Parker, who is Lady Penelope's chauffeur. Um, and... I think you get a Jeff Tracy as well, who's who's the dad. Um, but anyway, but there we go. Then you get a load of event cards, um, events and schemes, which are um, the hoods, events and schemes. So we've got a pile of event cards and then his schemes. And the higher the Roman numeral, the more dastardly the schemes get. And basically a scheme, um, and, and in the spirit of sort of pandemic and things like that, it's, it's a bit of a kind of token placement collection type deal. So to to um, beat this scheme effectively, you have to have three of these tokens in Mercury, two of these tokens in the North Atlantic, and these two, um, two vehicles basically in Australia. And if you get all of these things in these locations, you then beat this scheme. So clearly you need, and they've all got to be there at the same same time. You know, you can have, um, so um, you can't have to, you can't have different people having the different tokens unless they're all in the same location. All the tokens have to be in the same lo in the denoted location. So, so yeah, I mean it's um, so clearly you'd need a uh, well, you'd need a minimum of two players to um, to complete this because you could dump these um, vehicles in Australia and leave them there, and then you'd need a character to be on Mercury. And a character to be at North, in the North Atlantic at the same time to um, complete that scheme. And then you've got events, so bad things will happen um, when the hood triggers events. So this one there, Thunderbird 2, has a top speed of 1 until a character on its space discards um, a technology token, that is. And um, I mean, Thunderbird 2's normally got a speed of 2. So things like that. So, you know, they're, they're things to throw spanner in the works as you... Um, as you go around, so there's those. Then we've got disaster cards, um, and these are these are the sort of bread and butter of the game. Basically, within the game, you spend game turns basically trying to defeat disasters, defeat events, or defeat schemes. Um, and then, as you do that, and as you build up your resources, you um, 
you 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 work to win the game so that's that basically um so for this one the towering ocean for example you would need to to score eight a roll of eight on a dice it lets you know where the location where the um disaster is occurring so if you want to go and try and combat this disaster you have to go to the south pacific it lets you know that it's a sea challenge and then you get bonuses if you've got thunderbird three at the location you get a plus two and if you've got thunderbird four at the location you get another plus two so if that was all in place you'd only need to roll a four so there we go you know it's um so yeah i mean it's it's good just coordinating all of your resources to defeat disasters so you get those um you get a load of tokens um these are the um five different tokens you get um that go across this bottom of the game board here um, so it's it's um, technology and determination, intelligence, teamwork, um, and something else I can't remember. But um, but yeah, so you get those tokens, which I'm not using because I, I'll show you in a second. Um, so there's those tokens there. Then you get these other bag of tokens, which are your little vehicles. So at the start of the game, you've got a load of different little vehicles that. That that's and start off in brains notebook, and then as you get technology tokens, you can then build these um, different vehicles to help you in your a version of disasters, and then these are disaster tokens, so you can just put these on the board when disasters arise, so you just know where they are, visual representation, and the international rescue is a um, first player marker effectively. So there's those. Um, it's part I'm not sure if these come with the. Um, with the retail version, but you get a load of um, devious schemes don't know, by the DS, and these are nightmare schemes. Again, I think you get a one, two, three, four, and a five. Again, the higher up they go, the more difficult they are. So effectively, this lightning strike scheme would be one of the most difficult to achieve. So, and as you know, you need these different tokens in geostationary orbit. You'd need these tokens in Europe, and um, I can't remember what this symbol means, but you need something in Africa. <laughs> So, I mean, that would be quite difficult. Anyway, so you get that. Ha, huh, blimey. You get um, a little sheet of stickers that if you want to paint up the, the minis, the vehicles, um, you can um, put stickers on them as well to denote what they are. And then last but not least, well, I'd say last but not least, um, you get all the miniatures, basically. You get your game pieces, which are, which are miniatures, effectively. Um, I'm just going to move two of these dice out the way. So with the base game, you get Thunderbird 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, you get Fab 1, which is Lady Penelope's Rolls Royce. Um, you get a little stand for Thunderbird 1. You get a Hood, who goes up the top of the game board and tracks along to show his progress. Then you get little character pegs um, for each of the vehicles. I, I was missing... Um, Alan for Thunderbird 3 so I painted up a little orange wooden spike for him so that's Alan at the moment he just he goes in there <laughs> um, but I, I've emailed um, Modiphius and um, they're going to send me another orange character peg so that's on the route um, they get two dice um, one two three four five and the sixes are um, the hood so if you roll a hood he then will progress across his um, progress tracker effectively um, so there we go that's that's about it um, in the vehicles you get um, the pegs go in so you can transfer crew members to the vehicle so Thunderbird 2 for example you could have three crew Thunderbird 1 you can have two Thunderbird 3 you can have three Thunderbird 4 and Fab 1 just one each and um, you can have five in the um in Thunderbird 5 basically so that's that um as part of the kickstarter like i said i've got load there's a load of um load of expansions there's four expansions coming um before christmas as far as i understand um, i'm not i can't really remember what's in them but uh it was a bargain nonetheless like i say the base game is 40 i think it retails for 45 but um um but you can get it for 40 if you shop around. But with the um, the expansions, I think the expansions are going to go for 20 quid a go, um, 15, 20 quid a go, and um, going to get all four of those as part of this 65 quid pledge. So you can't go wrong there. Right.
with the expansions that were included in the £65 pledge, that's great, but there were some add-ons as well that I decided to go for. I did buy an extra set of dice, just because I think they were, how much were they? I think they were three quid, um, but um, you know, they're custom, you know, and, I, and I'm sure you won't be able to buy them again. And because I could, I did. Um, so just to get another set of dice, you know, if you're gonna spend 65 quid, why not spend 68, eh? So I'm just gonna put all this back. And then last but not least, the other add-on, which was a bit of an indulgence, if I'm honest. Um, I said previously that I wasn't using these tokens because <laughs> I bought the metal ones. Um, these are basically just metal, um, metal versions of the cardboard tokens. So you can use the metal ones instead. These were really expensive. These were 30 quid. Um, there's five different types. Um, no, yeah, five different types. Were they 30 quid? I think they were 30 quid or were they 20 quid? They, they were, um, they were expensive anyway. Um, are they 20 or 30? I can't even remember how much they were. So basically you, um, yeah, you just stack them up. They're like little pound coins. They're a bit thinner. Um, well, they're much thinner actually, but you know, but yeah, but they just give the game, you know, just, they're just nice to have. And again, I don't know if these will be available at retail. Um, Actually, they were tw I'm sure it was tw they were twenty pounds, twenty pounds. So it works out four pounds per stack, basically four pounds for six coins, basically. Um, yeah, twenty quid they were. So anyway, yeah. So I wanted to get those, um, and they replaced the cardboard tokens. So that's uh, that's it. This game is fantastic. If you like co-op games, um, if you're a fan of Matt Leacock. I, I would highly recommend it. I mean, I'm not a massive Thunderbird fan. I, I do like the lore and I appreciate, I appreciate the lore. I appreciate, um, I appreciate its existence. Um, but it's a really, really great game. I mean, just the, just the kind of problem solving aspect of the game and averting disasters. I mean, uh, I mean, the Thunderbird theme is almost incidental really. But if you in, if you if you're a fan of Thunderbirds, you I think you'd really really like this game. Um, and if you're just a fan of board games and co-op and and flying vehicles around the world, averting disasters, um, you know it, it's it's certainly one to take a look at. So that's my little unboxing overview of Thunderbirds, the board game. Um, and I'll do a redo of this one when my expansion stuff comes. I'll, um, I'll show you what, what comes with all that. So that's it. My God, this video's turned into an 18 minute monster. Sorry about that. If you've made it to the end, pat on the back, round of applause. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.